Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, thank you for turning up for the session. Like, how are you doing? How is the Vienna con going on? Great. Great? Okay. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about uh, prophesize your PHP unit test. Yeah, before we starting, I would like to know how many of you guys are working with the PHP unit test? Oh, great. I think you guys have them. Good experience, so it's very we can find out the session very easily. <coughs> Not gonna talk about uh, uh, this is great or that is bad. I mean about the you know what is PHP uh, prophesies? Any idea? What is prophecy call? Yeah, uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, before that, my name is Rakesh James. I work for uh, a small company in India. Yeah, I been a uh, uh, introduced the uh, prophecy by one of my mentor. He just writes there, uh, who has in green glass in the head. Um, yeah. His name is uh, Finafroxima. He is uh, my official migration maintainer, as well as uh, I have a couple of migration maintainers friends also here. Uh, and uh, while I'm working with the uh, uh, migration issue queues in the Baltimore, he has actually introduced me about uh, writing a test about in Drupal issue queue for a log process plugin. In migration log process plugin, how to, I got a very difficult time to, because it's, uh, when I'm looking at the other classes, like uh, writing a test against the classes, there will be a chance of a lot of dependency injections and a lot of uh, services will be included. So we need to have a take care of that first, then only you can write a test about the particular class. Correct? Am I right or wrong? So when you're writing a test against a class, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna uh, talk about. Um, it's a very basic session, how we can uh, do a prophecy uh, mocking framework with the UR class. So these are all the things we're gonna talk about in terms of prophecy. We're gonna find out what is a prophecy and what is dummies in terms of prophecy, stubs, mocks, spies, and promises and predictions. Uh, any doubt, uh, start raising your hands or just ask the questions. Yeah, we can move forward. It's very simple, straightforward. Uh, we are not taking very advanced level. It's because of, uh, it's easy. Once you start using it, you don't need to be worried or so want to motivate you guys to start using it. So what is prophecy? Prophecy is very straightforward PHP mocking framework. Yeah, and it's actually uh, developed and created by ourselves, like it's for a PHP spec. And he lives in London. Yeah, then um, he, uh, he modified for, can be used with a PHP unit. Uh, uh, I don't know whether Everset is here or not. Never met him too. Yeah, anyway, huge thanks to him. Uh, but I want to say a uh, prophecy is very simple. You can, uh, you don't need to worry about the future behavior of the object. So it's easy to use it in your PHP unit test. And it's describe your future of the objects, object behavior. So since this is a example, are you able to read it? From the screen, okay. Uh, we <coughs> we're gonna write the test against a class called user rating calculator, and uh, in that class we are actually uh, calling the method increase user ta uh, rating. In that we are calling the interface user interface, and in that user interface there is a two uh, methods are defined. One is get rating. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Another one is set rating. So in the set rating, you having a parameter also arguments. Yeah, uh, this is uh, uh, below is below block. It's uh, in the blue color. It's a prophecy testing for how you can prophesize uh, the above classes and interface. The first line of the, in the blue line, user prophet, uh, prophet is cre prophet create prophecies for you. Uh, then uh, you can say 
you are directly calling that dummy to uh, the method and say you can return back this particular value. Then uh, next one is you predicting it. Uh, even if this argument is passed, this has to be get called. So when you're writing a test, the third block, it says if you put it in your test class, you're going to create the new object of the class. Then you're going to uh, directly calling that method and say reveal the dummy. Uh, then that's why it's a test work. So go on uh, check out what is dummy, what is done in detail. Next one. Uh, before that, we need to find out how to install this one. You need a uh, more than 5.3 PHP install. I think, hope all of you guys how using PHP start using PHP 7 now. How many of you start PHP 7 now? Yes, pretty good now. Uh, and uh, Composer, uh, anyone, anyone doesn't have any awareness of about Composer? What is it? Everybody knows Composer what it is? Okay, uh, compose you. Okay, uh, composer is uh, you. Uh, composer help is to add you the dependency injections. I mean, not dependency injection. Dependencies from the outside of the world, like uh, where it is present somewhere else in the package managers. So uh, I will tell you one example. Uh, in Drupal 8, you use address module in Drupal 7, right? Address module, address module. So we have address module in Drupal 8, but uh, commerce guys uh, actually create the address modules, the Drupal 8 one, uh, using the outside address libraries. So any part of the uh, part of the site or world, you can get the package manager. It's not from only from the Drupal. So you can add the packages libraries from outside of Drupal. So other PHP, it's, uh, there is a concept called moving away from the island. So we are trying to talk each other with the other PHP communities. Uh, so Composer is one, one of the best way of we can achieve that uh, to our uh, Drupal. So Composer is uh, more than you can need to uh, understand. It's more over like you can add dependencies. So you add a composer.json file for your module, and you write a, a composer install. It's installing all the other modules, whatever you needed. Uh, anybody understand what is vendor directory in Drupal 8? Vendor directory? So you, it's a vendor directory comes from the Symfony component space in the other place. It's not from the Drupal. It's from Symfony, right? So all of the libraries we're getting from Symfony uh, is using Composer actually, Composer update. Yesterday, uh, Drys was talking about the auto updation in the future. It's mostly gonna work with the Composer. Okay, no problem. Uh, you have a Composer.json file. You need to get Composer installed. Add the few lines required dev and PHP privacy, what is a version unit to the Composer.json file. Uh, then you can run this command Composer install prefer distribution. So, so you know, it, you'll, it will automatically get installed. Only one requirement, more than 5.3. PHP has to be 5.3 more than. Uh, so how to use it? So first we need to create a profit for it. Uh, once you create profit, uh, you can uh, create a, prof you can prophecy from, do that with that profit. Uh, then we, you can say, which class you need to be extended or which interface you need to be mocked or extended from that, in that prophecy. But in Drupal is uh, already included, so you don't need to uh, check anything. You can directly look, uh, say that X dollar secured, this prophecy has to be get revealed. So I'll explain this, what is reveal and all the about it. Okay, first thing is, what is dummies? Uh, the, the variable you're getting it, it's actually prophesized from the user interface. This is our code. So this is the user, this is called dummy. Actually it's prophet and prophesizing this interfacing. So in 
in dummies, you don't need to worry about it. It's always return nulls. Uh, you don't need to worry about it's like what it does or is, is it throw an exception. It won't go into throw an exception. And it doesn't have any logic at all. Just you creating, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna mock, like you're gonna create an object, dummy object for a particular class or particular interface. That's what all about dummies, that variable. This user is the variable, it's uh, user doesn't know what it interface does or anything. It's a create an object of the user interface. Yeah, then stubs. Stubs is uh, object double. Uh, all of you, I think, knows what is doubles. Uh, in PHP unit, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a dummy object, actually, it reflects like the original class. You guys uh, mocking the object, right? So that's, you create a double of that one. Uh, you're getting original image like the same object class that is called doubles. Uh, but stubs is we are different from mocks because some of the time you, uh, when you having the mocking object, uh, you need to really care about what all the things included in that class, what all the dependency injection is happened in that, that class, and what all the interface you are using in that class, and what all the services you, you are using in that class. So if you go into the user entity, you can see that if you want to do it, there is a lot of interfaces that you're calling and a lot of services you're calling into that particular class. And if you're writing about uh, uh, test against that particular user class, you need to worry about all this. Uh, but in prophecy gives an option to just stub, use stubs and you only create a dummy object and think about only this method has to be called on this class. So that is what dummy does. Dummy is that does this creating an object of user interface, user, user object and getting it will return to. So you say you have a get, get, get rating method, man, it always return to value two. That's what is called stubs. Uh, anyone have any questions till now, dummies and stubs? Okay, no problem. Uh, so that is stubs. And it won't, uh, it won't check over the exception behavior of your object. Uh, it, 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 it won't check about how the object has to be a real object is behaving it. It, it is not caring about it. So you can see, you can see the, you created the prophecy dummy called user and prophet prophesies the user interface. Then you are saying user, you're calling this method, sorry, this method and saying that it always return two. So it's, it, it doesn't care about what is that functionality does or that method is when it's uh, defining it's uh, what it does, but it always does. You are saying, I, I have a dummy, I have, I mock this object and I am using the, directly using this method and when you're using method, method, you will always return, it's always return two. Uh, the value will be written to. That is what is called stubs. Uh, stubs actually promise. Uh, promise, uh, promise means you can see the will return, uh, we call will return to. That means you promise that when you're calling this get rating method or when you're calling this particular method, you promise that this will return only the particular uh, particular value uh, in simple ways like so when you call this particular uh, method you say this has to be returned this particular and say we promise it this will return only this two value called two that is called uh, promise promise are it's a logical blocks uh, and there is a lot of different types of promises that exist uh, one is called return promises, then return argument promises, and throwing promises, and callback promises. What is, uh, first one is uh, return promises. So this will use this 
this is how you need to use. You need to use will return one. So you say when you're calling this particular method, this will return only one. And there is, uh, there is, you can return a particular argument, and you can this will return arguments and which is the method for the which method you need to argument you need to return, and throw promise. It, it will help you to throw. If when you call that particular method, uh, it will help you to throw the exception. So if if I return if I return a throw exception here, uh, when is user get rating is called, it will throw an exception. Uh, that is called uh, that is called throw exceptions. Uh, same way, callback promises. So if you want to have a, when the particular method is called calling, you need to write your own logic for that particular like for that method. You can you can use will callback promise, and callback promise in that you need to give the function function name as an argument. So it will get that method will be getting called. So prophecy help you to. Uh, override the methods if in the interface and use your own logic for that, your own test. So uh, when you having writing a test for a, such a big classes, you you will be get mad about like um, about the what all the interface, what all the uh, what you call what what all the service in, uh, uh, dependency injection services they are using for that, but because which is not relevant to you for your test, actually. You know this has to be come and this class has to be behave like this. Uh, for that behavior only you're writing the test. So, uh, prophecy will uh, allow us to promise uh, in that particular method what all the things you need to be returned. So, this is called different types of promises. It will, uh, there is a four types of, one is uh, return promises and one is return argument promises. Uh, then we moving forward to mocks. Um, all of you will aware of mock mocking object, right? In the PHP unit, it is uh, it's very close to the steps, but it's it's always care about your uh, behavior of your actual method functionality, actual method behavior. So here we using the promise, set rating is for should be called. So actually how this test will work in this, you actually creating a profit and when the profit will allow you to prophesize the user interface. Then you are saying that when you calling the method get rating, it has to return two. And you are telling th uh, that is a promise you did then, then you say telling that when this set rating is four, then it will be get called. Uh, and when you come here, you can see that you mocking that you you creating an object from that, and you calling this functionality. Then you say user reveal. So user reveal means that is called this prophecy, and when it's called. It is happening here, actually. Your user reveal, you, you call this prophecy. The prophecy come here, then you go into user settings. Then here, you're going to call the user get ratings. That means you're going to call this one here. So here, you will get a two. And you're passing two from here. And this entire user settings, ratings, functionality actually gets four. If it's just get four, then you be called this functionality. So that's how it's work. That's how test works when you're doing the test. So this is called predictions. You say it's the settings are pre, uh, four, then it should be called. This is what called predictions in prophecy. Um, I'm talking about all the prophecy terms. What are the things, how we're doing it? Uh, so this means in this set ratings, you'll get an argument called for, then only it should be called. So you talking about the behavior of particular method, and you're concerned about that. 
and telling that it has to be get called. If, if there is a five comes, it won't get called instead of four. So that means you are taking care of the, you're going to throw the exception, you're going to taking care of the, uh, how we should the method behave. That is called predictions. Yeah. And when, the, uh, when you're talking about the behavior, it's called mocking the object. So if the, if the prediction is failed, it throws an exception. We have a couple of uh, different types of prediction you can use. Uh, you can use should be called prediction. Uh, when this is happening, we can, we can write set ratings for then should be called. And if should not be called this functionality, and you can say should be called some times when it has to be called. And you can say callback predictions also. Uh, I think everybody's silent. I don't know whether you guys are understanding. But uh, I'm sure that uh, after this, you're going to start coding it. It will definitely help you. So uh, there are four types of uh, predictions are there. Can be, should be called, uh, should not be called. Uh, should be called times when it has to be called, uh, uh, then should return a call back. So you can say if it is coming for, uh, you can put a should call back one separate functionality. Then you can actually override that particular method or functionality. So it's help you a lot of leverage and a lot of freedom to write your own test according to the requirement. So when Actually, where, where it helps us, when you have a lot of dependency and interface has to be mocked in a particular class, there is a lot of things you need to take care of before, when you, while you're writing the particular test for that particular PHP class. So, prophecy will allow you to easily do that, overcome that, very simple way. Uh, then it's spies. So before uh, before going to that, I will explain once again this code. Ah, please. Still want to understand what the difference is between mock. Uh, I'm now mocking a PHP unit test and, and prophecy. So while you're mocking in the uh, PHP unit, I mean it's it's fine for me. It's I'm not. It's almost saying whether you which or you want to use it, you can use it. But what I'm telling when I try to use it. Uh, but I found a lot of uh, things I need to take care of while you're mocking the class, real class. Because, because mock uses a class and prophecy is two separate things, right? No, no, no. Uh, it's not like that. For, uh, you, can, you can use, I just return the same way you need to understand. So, so what I'm telling, uh, you can use prophecy or you can use uh, mock, but prophecy gives you more leverage to override the certain functionality you don't need to you don't want it in your test actually so you need to take while you're mocking a class have a five interface is already using five services using five dependency injections maybe yeah uh, so those time you need to really take care of it all those first then you need to uh, those interface what all the things you need to be okay. but here what you did just say the interface is there revealed it and you say this has to be written so it's clearly written here. You're, you're, you're very easy to do this one. I thought, I thought there was a mock without dependencies or without exceptions. No, it's, it's always care about the mocks. It always care about the exceptions and behaviors of the object. So while we having dummies, dummies really don't care about, yeah. So. This is a uh, class, so we we gonna we gonna do one second. So here you're calling the predictions, and here is the promises. Have you able to understand this code? Any questions about this code? So one second, I'll explain you. Uh, we have an interface. Uh, we have a user interface, and we are having two mothers in that. 
that interface is called in other class, inside the method of other class. So I, we are going to write the test for the user rating class, cal, uh, user rating calculator class. So we going to, while we are doing this, before that we know that there is interface is called. So we are going to create a prophecy for that because while you are writing test, you need to know what all the things happen this when the user interface user called. So we are going to prophesize that. So when this is called, this has to be happen like this. So we say that we prophesize the user interface and say that if there is a method, in this method calls, will return this first, uh, get rating will return two. And if it is uh, the second set rating method getting a f argument four, then only it will get called. So while you are writing the test for calc, I mean, uh, new user rating calculator class, you, go, you create an object and then you call the method inside the class that accept the user interface as a para, uh, arguments with a one separate argument. So in that user interface, we already mocked, I mean like prophesized before as uh, uh, three lines in the talk, you getting it all this prophecy as a user reveal. You just revealing it there and say you getting everything there. And this will go here. Then you say get rating. Then get rating always return two. And once you return two, it's a two plus two is four. If it is four, this uh, set rating will be called. I mean, set rating will be set. So this is a straightforward example for this. And one last thing I uh, want to say is a prophecy can spy. Uh, spy, prof uh, uh, what prophecy help us to do is when you're creating a dummy, it will create, it will log all the records what you're doing with your dummy. So whenever you want to use this dummy, you can use it. So you can check whether it is called or not, uh, your particular function is called or not. Yeah, it's, it's okay, just keep it like that. While you start writing it, I'm sure that's very easy to understand. So you, you need to know some of the areas whether this particular functionality is called or not. So you trying to mock the object or you trying to create a unit test and you say whether it is called before. You're writing thousands and hundreds of lines then they, you need to find out whether it's called before this functionality called or not. So it's easy to check should have been called or not. So then you can write from there. So you can easy to spy it out. It's, it is also there in PHP, uh, uh, other mockery also. So this is an example. Any questions now? Sorry? In the last line, it means you need to use it to use it separately. Yeah. <coughs> so you don't need to do it, right? You just, uh, you calling it in a same line, everything. So you have a, instead there is another method also is in interface. Two methods are there in interface. So you're revealing entire interface there. So you to, you're talking about this one. Instead of reveal, uh, you want to use get rating. It won't work. So you, you, need, to re, you need to reveal the en entire interface. You are dummy. Then only it will work. Yeah. No. No, you need to reveal. You, you, you need to reveal it first. Then you, you get the uh, mockery. You are dummy with the, the certain... Uh, no, functionality, what are the things you written, prophecy or prediction in that. You prophesied, your prophecy you have to be revealed first, then only they are able to use it. Yeah. 
Okay, any other questions? Um, uh, this all about the predictions and prophecy. Uh, I think it's, you can start using it. Uh, here is the GitHub. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. So it's up to your choice, right? Like, so it's a, what is a, your requirement? How you want to test it? It's you can call whenever you want it. I think yes, uh, Adam. We can call another callback, and in that callback function, we can uh, use the other. Yeah, uh, but you cannot explicitly call that function uh, the uh, class. But you can. You, you will be getting the uh, other dummies. Yeah. If you're using say, different dummies, you can use it. Yeah, so for example, because dummies always get full in their lifetime. Dummies has a full record. So you you are telling me you create a dummy called user, and you you get another dummy called user one. Yes, yeah, you, you put another call back there, yeah. You can straightly call here itself. You can straight directly call here. Well, you, you, you want to use it there, that's fine. You can work, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you, can, you can use it, it will work. Any other questions? Okay, uh, thank you, that's it. Uh, I want to, uh, I want to do special thanks to my mentor. Uh, he introduced me, uh, one Drupal called in Baltimore, then I, as a uh, colleague also, helped me to understand prophecy. Thank you, it's easy to use. Hope you can use it for your PHP unit test. Thank you.